just a little quick video keep y'all posted on what's going on um, today we dug another 250 foot worth of trench I should have put some more pipe in any other one but I didn't but my buddy came over and dug it out right next to it so it's all good and we've dug all the way for the next two runs as well so I'll be able to get all the conduit in for everything one round get this done I'm not covering it in yet because I think I'm gonna add one more run of pipe in there just just in case because you can never have enough conduit in there doesn't matter how much you put in you always end up sh needing another one I did have a little glitch with the tracking the other day just to let y'all know so maybe I won't make the same mistake I did and it may have been in instructions I probably should have read them but you know how guys are you know we just go with it but yesterday I came out and I looked when I was working up at the barn on the headers and one was hunting and one was fishing and I was like they're literally pointing in opposite directions what is going on so i came down here to take a look see and i was like i don't know i just reset it and it went back to normal tracking and i was like well that's gonna not be good if i have to power cycle those every so often but today when i came out here and started digging the trench it dawned on me what it was uh, I got a little bit lucky, I guess, on figuring it out. I'll just show you on this one. That's where the solar tracker was mounted, right there. Well, what's happened is, I guess, as we're moving more into winter, the sun is moving farther over to the south for me. And what happened was with the tracker right there, the sun coming in, this was casting a shadow. It was casting a shadow on the sensor and the other one up there had just, by the luck of the draw, it had stopped just right that that was casting a shadow on the back side of the sensor. And the thing had turned all the way around pointed east looking for the sun because it was like there's nothing on the west side and I just happened to notice that when I walked out here I actually moved it today tilt just spun it around just a little bit and sure enough it started tracking again because it was doing it today one was pointed straight up at noon which is where it should be the other one was pointed back and I'm like that's not making any sense but because the sun is moving farther south in the sky I was getting a shadow so the moral of the story is put your sensor before this so there's nothing in between it and the Sun so I needed to make real mounts for them anyway so it's not a big deal I just went and took some three inch angle iron notched it welded it on made a made a you know a nice solid real mount for both of them and put the sensor over on that side and then they both started working just fine so yeah it was probably in the instructions but anyways don't don't put anything in between the sun sensor and the sun so but it's all fixed now it's all good we'll know on the next ones going forward you know Trial and error. That's how we work around here. And uh, I know I told you guys I was working on the headers. We're going to go up to the barn and look at the headers real quick. And I'll tell you what's going on with those. And something fell. Okay. I was talking about the manifolds down there. We'll come up here. This is my new classic manifold. Welded all the 
bits in and put ends on it and everything. It's two inches. I got 16 taps because that's how many miners I'm gonna have. I'm gonna hook it up to that DeWalt pump and that pump says it does 50 gallons an hour, a uh, minute. 50 gallons per minute. And at two and a half gallons per minute, that should be enough to run all these. We're gonna see if that works out. The other one, a one inch manifold is just not enough for what I need. So I bought little valves. I took the handle off that one because you have to to get them on and off. And then the 10 millimeter hose connections for the end. And I was gonna run over real quick about national pipe thread versus British pipe thread. Because I ordered all these and they were all set NPT, which is national pipe thread. And, but they're actually not. And this end is British standard pipe thread, BSPT. So if you see something that says BSPT after it, that's British standard pipe thread versus NPT, which is national pipe thread. National Pipe Thread, they taper. Um, when you look at them from a side view, they're actually tapered in. And the female is the same. So when you tighten them down, as they get farther down, the threads get wider. They seal. Okay? And that's how that works. These and these... This was actually national pipe thread on this end, on the male end, but it was British standard pipe thread on the female end, which I wish they would have had that in the description because now this, every one of these leak. And the reason they leak is the copper male adapters that I ordered should have been national pipe thread but for whatever reason they were british standard pipe thread and as you can see by hand i can tighten this all the way down till it bottoms out okay british standard pipe thread always require an o-ring or some type of washer or gasket because they're parallel threads so they'll just run all the way down till they bottom out as opposed to national pipe thread, which are tapered, like gas pipe, water pipe, everything else in the United States, it tapers. So they start, and then as they get about halfway down, they start to bind up. And then that's why a lot of people think Teflon tape is a sealer. Teflon tape is not a sealer. Sealing is a side effect. Teflon tape is a lubricant that helps you tighten it down and keep getting it tighter as it goes down the threads actually seal because they're tapered the males are tapered and the females are tapered so as they go down they get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter because the, the base on the male gets wider and the female gets narrower so they tighten down and the Teflon tape acts as a lubricant as you tighten it down to help it get tight but the threads the actual thread pitch themselves is what seals in national pipe thread okay in british standard pipe thread you have to have a washer or something think about a hose fitting a hose fitting spins all the way down till you hit the washer that's british standard pipe thread Okay, and it has a rubber washer in the bottom that seals against it. And that's what makes it seal. So I had to order washers off of Amazon to fit these because they're three quarter inch OD and I need them half inch ID. And they had some, so that's why we don't have the manifolds done. 
we went ahead and taped these up because I thought they were National Pipe Thread. That's what I'd ordered, but they're not. So keep that in mind if you order pipe thread. I know it's not a normal thing, but BPSD is the British pipe thread and it always requires a washer. National pipe thread, the U.S. standard, will tighten down on threads alone. So, I've got to wait a couple of days because I wouldn't sign up for Amazon Prime and have it next day. So, to punish me, they're making me wait four days to get my washers. But once I get the washers, we'll be able to put this together move it in there and then I can move the other two miners that are sitting outside right now because they're too cold in the morning because we've kind of gotten into fall and I have to set them in the sun every morning for them to warm up before they'll start as opposed to the ones inside the mining shed which are temperature controlled at 76 degrees they always start so i'm trying to get everything in before the winter because in the winter obviously water's going to freeze so i've got to get all these done and get them all inside before it gets below freezing um i took some hose washers on these first four and you can actually just cut them because they're too big around on the od you can just cut them with scissors and squish them in and they'll still seal because when it tightens down it pushes the two ends together so tight that they they don't leak and uh these first four are actually good now oh they're good to 60 pounds of pressure i've got a test rig on here and an air up poured on the end and that's how i was testing it and i can air them up to 60 pounds of pressure and they hold but every one of these leak so that's why I haven't got the video out for the manifolds and getting them mounted up and getting everything inside. As soon as the stuff from Amazon gets here, I'll get these put together, finished out. There's this one and then there's the return manifold, which is right here. And these are two inch, so hopefully there'll be enough flow that I can get all 16 miners on one pump that's the plan and if I can't then I guess I'm gonna take two pumps and get some DWV drain waste and vent because they make a Y instead of a T because a T creates back pressure but a Y doesn't and then feed in two pumps to get them but either way I need to get them all running off of one manifold I've got the pipes buried. I've got them lined up. In the next day or two, I'm going to drill the holes through the wall and get everything in there and get them ready. So we'll just be waiting on the washers. But just in case you ever order pipe thread stuff, I figured I'd throw that out there, the difference between NPT and British Standard Pipe Thread. And it's the same in hydraulics. By the way, if you order hydraulic fittings, all BSPT hydraulic fittings require a ring. But that's it.